hi guys you're welcome once again to my channel uh this uh tina saying uh, i hope you've been happy you've been having a glorious life praise the lord welcome to my channel thank you for your subscriptions for your comments for your messages thank you for encouraging me newman means holy spirit in case you are wondering yes uh, that's uh, you get uh, links from the Holy Spirit when you submit yourself to him. The Holy Spirit is an illuminator that it shines light. It shines light, it gives us counsel. That's why he's called the counselor. It gives us counsel so that what has seemed dark to our intellect, it shines the light on it, we receive that wisdom, we receive that knowledge that we can use, you know, for benefit, for our own benefit and for the benefit of others. But that's when you link up with the Holy Spirit, you receive light. You, the light in the Word of God is given to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, praise the Lord. Which brings me to the topic for this video. My topic for this video is you must shine. Remember when I did my birthday uh, video some weeks back, I promised you that the next um, video will be you must shine and why you must shine. Amen. Well, this is it. What is light? Light is anything that gives brightness, that gives radiance. That's just light. If it gives brightness, it gives radiance, it's, that's light. Light is the opposite of darkness. That is the simplest way you can define light. It is the opposite of darkness. And when you want to take it further, you can say light is something that exposes. Like I said before, the Holy Spirit gives us light to expose the truth, to expose what has seemed dark and mysterious to us. Amen. So that light is radiance, it's brightness. Now, my text will be taken from where the Lord said, I am the light of the world. He who walks in me will not stumble and you will have the light of life. And then he went further to say, you are the light of the world, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So we now see we have a God who is light and who gives light. There is nobody that is in darkness that will be seen. There's nobody or any object that you put in a dark place that will be seen. So if somebody is shining, that person has received light. It's all about shining. As we know, what gives a shine? Anything that gives out a shine is either reflecting light from a brighter source or it's emitting the light that is in him, in it, him or her already. So uh, light really is the opposite of darkness. Light gives radiance. Uh, it gives radiance. It gives, uh, it's a sign of uh, heat or fire. Anywhere where you find light, look at that, the source of that light and you'll find a sort of heat fire there amen so what do i mean by light there are uh i'm going to take this from the perspective of the light i'm talking about here like i said is the light that reflects and it is the light that has been received because it has been reflected upon to emit to reflect that light amen so we're going to start by defining what is glory Glory, really, is something that has to do with um, light. Glory could either be uh, an object that has glory in itself, like I said, that is a person's prestige, a person's honor. Glory, a person's glory can be his prestige, his honor his notable achievement, acquired achievement. It can be that person's, um, the good works that person has done that has brought glory. The opposite of glory 
usually when you hear glory is shame and reproach that's the first thing that comes to mind glory the opposite of glory is shame and reproach and the opposite of glory is also something that is dim borders either it is dim it borders on darkness or it's darkness outright so there are three types like i said your own personal uh, glory that you have you have on your own or glory that has been acquired by birth you can acquire you can be radiated in the glory of your pedigree that is maybe your family has a name that you are name and achievement that you are glory in or that glory could be something that was given to you by because of the manifestation of the inborn innate talents in you amen also glory can be like i said it could be acquired by birth it, as we know there are two types of births there's a natural birth and the spiritual birth the glory I'm going to talk about in this video is the spiritual glory. That is the glory of God, which he had in the beginning when he visited the earth. We see Jehovah Elohim visiting the earth and shining his glory, his light upon the darkness and the mockiness and the waste. The, the, the earth was just a mass of waste, murky waters. And when the, the glory of God came in, that glory spoke. It said, let there be light. And there was light. Let there be light and there was light. And that light transformed the earth. It transformed the earth so that today, as from that moment, the light shone upon the face of the earth, that earth planet started to manifest the glory. The glory of that light that is received from the one. The glory that brought beauty, it brought change, it brought aroma. Today we see the earth in its natural form, in those places where the natural form is still maintained, we see beauty, beautiful gardens, beautiful forests, we see streams, we see beauty, we see glory, we, we see gardens with aroma flavors, you know. That is what glory does. Amen. To the church, this video I'm speaking to the church, to the children of the Most High God, because it is those uh, people, those are the people that Jesus Christ was talking to. When in John chapter 8, which is one of my texts, John chapter 8, verse 12, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So I'm talking here about the light of life. Jesus Christ is a life giver and is a light giver. So when you combine the two, that's what we have received as the church. When I say church, I'm talking of us as individual and collectively. We have received the light, the light of life that is in the Christ Jesus. And also he promised us, if you look at uh, uh, Matthew chapter 5, in Matthew chapter 5 verse 14, he says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and give it light unto all that are in the house. So who was he talking about? He was talking about his people, that is the believers. He's saying here that you have received light. That is why you must shine. You must shine because you cannot hide your light. Light cannot be hidden under the bushel. That's under a bucket and it cannot be hidden under the bed. You, are, you have become like um, a city that is set on the hill that everybody sees it. So you cannot hide your light. That is why you must shine. You must shine to, to, to lighten your own path and also to give light to other people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's what I'm talking about here, light. And light also brings glory. When you received light, you cannot be hidden. 
wherever you have been placed. Even if you are you have been confined, there are restrictions upon your life, satanic embargoes. Maybe you have found yourself in prison. Uh, it could be a physical prison and it could be a prison uh, uh, that has been placed upon you because of restriction in your situations. You cannot be hid. Inside that prison, you will be shining because you have, you have light. You remember Joseph was in prison. In that prison, he was shining. When Joseph was in prison, the glory of God brought him out. Of all the prisoners that were in that dungeon, it was Joseph that was able to be brought out by the light of God that was upon his life. The light that shone in the darkness of that prison. It shone in the darkness of that prison and it brought Joseph out. Even in that situation of slavery, he was shining. The favor of God was upon his, uh, his, his life. Light also gives favor. It gives promotion. It gives favor, it gives promotion. So wherever you are, you are promoted, you are favored. That's the light I'm talking of here. The glory of that light was what brought Joseph from prison, not because he could interpret. They didn't tell us about the other prisoners. You, you I would not be surprised that there were other prisoners who were able to interpret, maybe because of the natural gift or maybe because of the gods they were serving. So they were able to interpret or to have discerning spirit. But it was Joseph that was picked up. And that light shone upon him. It was a mark upon him when he went to stand before Pharaoh because he could have turned the other way around if Joseph did not have the light. The light of life in him. Pharaoh could have said, oh, who is this madman coming to tell me about famine? Just take him away and kill him. Glory. Hallelujah. But it turned out to be right for Joseph. That is when you carry the light, whatever you are doing, wherever you are put, you shine. That is why you must shine. Don't hide your light. Light is what brings a beggar who has been sitting on the donkey on the dust, brings them out to sit with the princess in the land. That is light promotes. It promotes. That's what was Hannah in the, in the song of Hannah. That was what she was talking about. You know, it's light that promoted her, the light of God. That is for, in 1 Samuel chapter 2 in the song of Hannah. So light promotes. So light that you have received could be uh, glory. The glory that is shining from inside you. The glory of the gifts and the talents that the Spirit of God has placed inside you. You do not hide that glory. It's born by grace. That glory is born by grace. And you do not hide it. Because uh, one can reject God's glory. You can say, oh, I don't want this glory. I prefer to go my own way. But the glory you will get by your own achievements will not last. They will fade away with time. But the glory of God contains the beauty of Christ. That is the glory of his, Christ, his radiance, which the Bible talks about in Hebrew chapter 1 verse 3. The fullness of his divinity. That is what I'm talking about. The fullness of his divinity. The light I'm talking about here is the reflection of that glory of Christ upon the life of a believer. You must shine. You must reflect that light if you are a believer. Then if you look at in ministry, Paul was talking about the glory of God in Romans 15, 17. He said it was the glory of God that he, he could boast on. Uh, he traveled from Jerusalem to Elim. Recom, which was somewhere in the Greek islands, to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. And this, this is a place that nobody had gone before him so that nobody could say, oh, Paul went and built on what we had planted. He said he went there because he could boast in the glory of Christ, in the power of Christ. And he brought fruits and he was successful in ministry. How? Because he went in the uh, boasting in the uh, in the radiance of Christ, he didn't. He, went, he was like a pioneer in that land. No other uh, Christian had been there to lay a foundation. He went and he laid the foundation. Why? 
because Elikron there was in the Greek, Greek islands and they were heathens. Nobody had been there before. He said he went there. It, that is in Romans chapter 15, verses 17 to 19. He went there because he could boast in the light of Christ that illuminated his way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory impacts beauty. It impacts, it makes you to reflect the beauty and the glory of heaven. And the aroma of heaven. Amen. The glory of God on a woman is not the adornment of jewelry, of clothes, of beautiful glowing skin. That's not uh, what the glory of God is all about. The glory of God was upon Esther as she went to stand before the king. And the Bible says she found favor over all the other virgins that, that were there. She found favor. Also, the glory of the light of God. She was shining in that light. The light of God went before her as she went, when she said, if I perish, I perish. She went and stood before the king to plead on behalf of her nation. And the light that was upon her, because she was shining with the glory of God. She was shining with the favor of God. That is why you must shine. The glory of God imparts beauty and it, 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 pass, uh, it gives beauty uh, for ashes. Hallelujah. It wipes away tears. Like I said, it's the opposite of glory. It's shame and reproach. It takes away shame and reproach. The glory of God, it radiates light, which gives shine to lives. Amen. Now, glory transforms lives. It transforms lives. If you look at uh, in the, in the, the song of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8, where Hannah was testifying of the glory of God upon her life, how the glory of God has transformed her life, whereby she spoke in verse 8 of how the glory of God, the power of God, lifts up the beggar from the dust and from the dunghill and promotes him or her to sit with the presence of the land. Hallelujah. It is the glory of God, that power, which is the glory of God that transformed the life of Hannah from being a ridiculous, barren woman, an object of ridicule, an object of shame, sorrow, and depression, to become the mother of a notable prophet, which is Samuel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory is a shield. Book of Psalms from um, 84, from verse 11, it talks of, of the glory of God being a shield. That glory of God was a shield that protected Israel on its journey from the land of captivity to the promised land. This, this was a nation that, were, they were, that had no knowledge of battle, had no battle experience, and they were facing fierce warrior nations on the way. Hallelujah. As Israel journeyed along, they were able to overcome all these great warrior nations. Why? Because the glory of God went before, and before them and at their rear. That is what the glory of God does. It's a shield. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The glory of God gives hope. It gives hope because First Peter tells us that we cannot imagine the glory that is set before us because of the light which the salvation of God has shone into our lives. You just have to shine. And also, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in the fiery furnace. The furnace was all around them, but there was a brighter light. There was a brighter light, and there was a fourth man in the in the uh, in that dungeon that was shining that light, and that light was able to uh, uh, consume the other light, the light, the heat of the furnace, and the heat of the furnace could not comprehend because that light was upon them. Hallelujah! So that is why you must shine, because you have received that light. It said, "You are the light of the world." You cannot be hidden anywhere you are, any form of restriction, a form of chain and shackle, barrier that is on your way, satanic barrier, sat satanic stronghold that has not made you to progress, has not made you to move forward. The glory of God is there to break asunder the rock. 
the gates of brass and the bars of iron. Hallelujah. Where the world, maybe the world, maybe they've dumped you, they've forgotten about you, they say this one, forget about him, forget about her. That is where she will, she will be. And she will continue to be our footmat. We'll continue to use her, use him to, to exploit them until when we are tired. Then we chop them out. But the glory of God says no. The beauty of God says no. Even in that situation, you are shining. Why? Because you have received the glory of God. Now, it is one thing to receive that glory. If you want to continue to enjoy the benefits that I've told you about, you are able to boast, you are able to overcome, you are able to be promoted from any dust, any dung like Hannah was promoted. You are able to overcome. You are able to go in your ministry, to go to places which you wouldn't have been able to go before and to do great exploits. You have to retain the glory of that light that you have received. The second part of this message will be how to retain the glory. Why you should retain that glory and why you must continue to shine. You just have to shine. Out of that every darkness, you have, you, your light has to come forth. Because for that purpose, the Son of Man was made manifest to bring to an end all the works of darkness in your life and in your situations and in your family. May the Lord our God bless you. May he continue to uphold you. May he grant you the revelation of the knowledge of the light that you have received to know why you must shine and why you, you have to continue to retain that light. You carry a light. You carry that light. The Lord says that when you have a light, you don't go and hide it under the bushel. You don't hide it under the bed, but you bring it out so that that light will give light to you and also be a light to others may that be your portion may the lord our god bless you may you receive the power and the anointing in these words in the name of jesus this is new maps channel tina davis signing out thank you for stopping by thank you for viewing don't forget to subscribe stay tuned the lord loves you be happy and blessed always amen